Brock Badgers are in the midst of another successful season. These student athletes are excelling on the court and in the classroom, but some of the lessons they are learning aren't coming from their coaches or their professors, but rather from their newest teammate, 16-year-old Emily Rourke. I think I'm um, teaching them definitely what true family is and what friendship is, even though they probably know it already. But I'm showing them what one kid could also give back to them. Emily joined the team at a press conference in January thanks to a partnership between Brock and Community Living St. Catharines. The result of the relationship is a new program called Team Achieve Canada. Team stands for Together Everyone Achieves More. Um, we're always looking for community involvement in St. Catharines area. Um, I had seen a program in the States that they run through the NCAAs that matches uh, children with chronic illnesses with the sports teams and they become part of their support system. Uh, so I wanted to make something happen up here. We're in the early stages but even the early stages it, the, the connection between Emily and our players has been fabulous and um, you know they have absolutely welcomed her and, and I think Emily herself would say that she's been made to feel a part of our family right from day one. Emily helps out with drills at practice and is a fixture at home games where she cheers on her teammates. And in the middle of a tight game, well, she keeps things loose on the bench. This popcorn's good. Well, I think it's fantastic because it's an opportunity for the child to go outside the normal limits. You know, already what's laid out with school and whatnot, other activities they might have. Um, because it includes them in the community and the f sort of the future community. Like they could go on to post-secondary education and feel like they're just like everybody else. And, and it's the team spirit thing and not being singled out. And uh, I, think I, I think it adds maturity to them. I think it's a fantastic opportunity. Dana Howlett serves as Emily's mentor. Dana assumed the role of community liaison for the team after a back injury prematurely ended her time on the floor. It's amazing. I mean, it came out of nowhere, um, but I couldn't be more thankful. Um, I'm learning how, it, how much of a leader I can be and a mentor. And, um, and Emily is around the age that I hope to work with, with students. And um, so just overall, just an amazing experience that I'm so thankful for. Emily's seamless transition to life as a Badger is having Team Achieve hoping to grow the program. Yes, Jenna! We only have 31 teams at Brock. Hopefully we can expand it to 31 teams. Um, from there, Niagara College. From there, McMaster University, Mohawk College, on and on. Community living is in every community in Canada. It's a great organization and it's a great partner to have. I think it was awesome, you know, to be able to get that um, very awesome opportunity and be able to become of a bigger team than what team I already joined, of course. I mean, yeah, yeah, I've learned a lot. Yes, basketball is important, but uh, for us, it's just the stuff beyond the basketball court that's far more impactful and more meaningful. That's what we believe in, and, you know, and I think Emily... Uh, cements that to our players every day, you know. I think her being on the bench with us, it really shows the girls, and myself included, how much of an honor it is to be a student athlete. And it puts really things, it puts things really into perspective, you know, like as much as we might get frustrated in a game or, you know, stresses of school, as soon as we see Emily come to practice or we see her on the bench with us, it's just like, there's so much more to basketball or to any team sport that it's not just about a game, it's about the connections, the family, the, the relationships and like Emily said like you know the family and everything that we we, uh, we make together so yeah from Brock University reporting for the source I'm Shane Neal good job Bailey Woo!